Hi everybody, this is Christy from the Be The Light YouTube channel. Thanks so much for stopping by and as always, I send you love continuously. Uh, today is May the 13th and um, I made a video that I have already posted here on YouTube about um, the current energies and how everything is working together with the relationship of the 5D integration and the threefold flamed heart, along with all of this being the ninth level of the light body activation. If you aren't here yet, it's okay. It's okay. Your awareness to this is going to open you up to it and your, your spirit will help you get to this level by doing everything that is necessary to get you here which mostly is about removing all of those lower vibrational emotions and um, beliefs that you have been holding on to and um, integrating new light into who you are I am feeling really, really good today, and I don't know if this is going to continue tomorrow because it has been up and down, up and down. For me, I have been feeling actually, you know, more low throughout since Friday, and I mentioned that in my other video, and I had, um, um, Saturday, I felt really good, Sunday, um, I didn't feel good. Monday was kind of spacey, where I felt good, low, good, low. Tuesday, I was wiped out completely, where I kind of really stayed to myself. I was extremely cold with the shivers. Um, I mean, but I didn't have the goosebumps associated with it, and that's how you know it's the difference. Um, you are integrating light instead of being cold. There is a difference between um, ascension chills and normal chills. And you'll find out as you get there. But I am still talking about the um, ninth level of your light body activation, which is integrating the higher chakra system. You are tapping into, you are completing and accessing the eighth chakra you are in the ninth chakra you are um, accessing some of the tenth chakra some of us are accessing the eleventh too it depends on what our spirit already knows <coughs> excuse me um, for our ascension process some people won't go above the ninth level um, or won't go there as soon as others it is the choice to completely surrender. Um, I know I have. This is what I have chosen to continuously evolve, ascend into serving. This has always been something that I have had embedded within my heart. And I choose to serve love and light continuously. But a part of the ninth level of your light body activation is seeing um, geometric shapes, symbols, signs, whatever it is within your vision, your actual vision. And I'm going to tell you this, that God, the energy, the light, you and your spirit will know when the proper time is to show you these lights, these codes, and of course your your soul family. They, they all assist you in being your best self, especially when you're open to all of this divine assistance. Um, so like if you were driving down the street, they won't really show you these codes within your eyes, within your inner vision that you can actually see with your eyes um, as you are driving, especially if you are just opening up to it um, because it doesn't they don't want to cause a fear and definitely don't want to cause harm if you were driving um, 
it could be, you know, a little bit scary sometimes. I'm not saying that in time you can always receive codes and enlightened information at any old time because in time you have grown to the point to be able to function as a human person who has to do everything they're supposed to do as their human form and your, your light being. You can merge two together and coexist together. Um, so I have been seeing these light codes and I actually opened up, I mean, in my awareness to my awakening, it was 11-11, um, 11, 11, um, 11 actually. So it was uh, during the 11-11 portal um, or gateway, whatever you want to call it. So it was November of the 11th of 2018 when I actually began to first see these um, light codes or symbols in my actual vision. Um, but then I had to see it with my eyes closed. I was just awakening to something. I didn't know what it, what it was and it brought um, curiosity to who I was and I wanted to learn more. I wanted to evolve into that. So here I am now. I am awakening to more of my truth. More of the truth of all. So I can actually see things now in my peripheral vision um, with my eyes open and closed. And this is just beginning here. So it's, it's very, very subtle. It's very quick. Sometimes it's a, a second. Sometimes it's a, a few minutes. But it's not continuously throughout my day. But all of these codes or shapes, ge geometrical shapes, numbers, whatever it is, will come to you for you for your spirit to help you integrate the inner energies and to help you ascend um, into your purpose, the being that you're supposed to be here in your light form or in your physical form as your light bodied self. So this really isn't about how to attain this or what to do for yourself. Because you should know by now that the more that you let go of and the more you open your heart, um, everything will come to you that is supposed to when you are ready for it. But nothing is going to come to you if you just refrain from letting go or if you refrain from love. So I just wanted to share this as a bit of excitement about what you can experience. And there's nothing that we have to do. There's nothing that we have to focus on or concentrate on. What was that? What was this? You know, I don't understand. It'll do what it's supposed to do for you. Um, you just have to be aware that it's taking place and enjoy it. Love it. It is a, a, a love note, a love sign, a love symbol, a code that's helping you awaken to your truest form. Um, that's going to help push you into your purpose. This is Christy. Much love, health, and healing your way. I am bringing purpose to your life. Take care.